Fossils are supposed to help us understand the past, right? Well, sometimes they do the exact opposite. Some discoveries don't fit into any category, leaving experts baffled and history books full of question marks. Bones that don't match any known species, creatures that shouldn't have existed, and remain so strange they make you wonder if we've been looking at evolution all wrong. In this video, we'll explore the 15 most mysterious fossils that defy class, challenge scientific explanations, and raise unsettling questions about Earth's past. And trust us, by the end, you might start wondering just how much of our planet's past has been lost or deliberately hidden. Number 15. The Pygmy Mammoth in 1994, scientists were called to Santa Rosa Island, California, to examine a strange skeleton. What they found was history in the making. It was a nearly full pygmy mammoth, a miniature version of the massive mammoths we usually picture. Unlike their towering mainland relatives, these tiny giants stood only five to six feet tall, about the size of a pony. So why were they so small? Blame island dwarfism a phenomenon where species shrink over generations due to limited resources. Living on the Channel Islands during the late Pleistocene, these mammoths adapted to their environment by evolving into a smaller size. While mammoth fossils had been found on the islands since the 1800s, this particular discovery was special. Scientists recovered 90% of the skeleton, a rare find. Missing only a foot, a tusk, and a few vertebrae, it remains the most intact pygmy mammoth ever discovered, sparking even more research into how these creatures thrived in their isolated ecosystem. Number 14. New Sauropod Discovery During construction for a high-speed rail project in Spain, workers stumbled upon something ancient and massive. Paleontologist Pedro Mocho and his team soon realized they had found a brand new species of sauropod dinosaur, which they named Abditosaurus quenai. This 75 million year old giant belonged to a group of long necked plant eating dinosaurs that dominated the late Cretaceous. What made this discovery even more special? The fossil was one of the most complete sauropod skeletons ever found in Europe. A huge deal since most European dinosaur fossils are fragmented or incomplete. But here's the real twist. Abditosaurus quenai belonged to a dinosaur lineage previously thought to be exclusive to South America and Africa. That means these creatures migrated across ancient land bridges, reshaping our understanding of prehistoric ecosystems. And with more fossils still buried at the site, this discovery could be just the beginning. Number 13. The Peking Man Back in the 1920s, fossils of an early human were discovered near Beijing, China. Scientists called it Peking Man, a subspecies of Homo erectus. But while it's one of the most famous ancient human fossils, it's also one of the most mysterious. For starters, Peking Man had a mix of traits that don't quite fit anywhere. Some researchers believe he was an early ancestor of modern humans, while others argue he was part of a separate evolutionary branch. His brain showed more advanced development than earlier hominins, but he wasn't quite on par with modern humans. And then there's the biggest mystery of all. The fossils vanished during World War II. While being transported for safekeeping, the entire collection, including skulls and bones, disappeared. Despite decades of searching, they've never been recovered. All we have now are photos, casts, and endless speculation. Was Peking Man an evolutionary dead end, or a lost link to modern humans? Well, sad to say that, but without the fossils, we may never know. Number 12. The Chicken from Hell in January 2024, grad student Kyle Atkins Weltman made a bizarre discovery, a new dinosaur species with a nickname straight out of a horror movie, the Chicken from Hell. Officially called Eoniofron infernalis, this bird-like dinosaur roamed Earth 65 million years ago in the late Cretaceous, alongside the last of the dinosaurs. Part of the Oviraptorosaur group, this species had a beak, 
feathers, and long legs built for speed. But unlike its larger relatives, which could weigh up to 660 pounds, this one was much smaller, only around 170 pounds. What made it truly unique? Its fused ankle bones, which likely made it an incredibly fast runner, a crucial advantage when avoiding predators or chasing prey. In fact, these hell chickens may have survived the asteroid impact that wiped out most dinosaurs. While other species struggled, Ioniofron infernalis remained stable and diverse, possibly because of its adaptability and omnivorous diet. Number 11. The Mystery Creature Fossils are supposed to make sense of the past, but Maison Creek in Illinois has a habit of doing the exact opposite. Back in the 1800s, coal miners started unearthing strange fossils here, but it wasn't until the 1950s that one truly bizarre discovery changed everything. Meet Francis Tully, a fossil hunter who stumbled upon something so weird that scientists are still arguing about it today. Locked inside a mineral nodule, a rock that forms around organic matter was a creature unlike anything ever seen on the face of the Earth. Later named Tula Monstrum Gregarium, or Tully's Monster, this tiny, soft-bodied enigma had a long, tube-like snout ending in pincers, stalked eyes, a segmented body, and a finned tail. It looked like a mashup of multiple species. But here's the mind teaser. Scientists still don't know what it actually was. Some say it's related to squids. Others argue it was a type of jawless fish. But after 60 years of research, one thing's clear. This creature refuses to fit into any known category. All right, guys, now let's talk about number 10, big-headed humans. In 2024, a new human species entered the mix, and this one had a really big head. Scientists named it Homo longi, or Dragon Man, based on fossils found in China that showed a mix of traits from Neanderthals, modern humans, and Denisovans. These skulls, dated between 220,000 and 100,000 years old, had massive, thick bones and broad faces like Neanderthals, but also some shockingly modern features. Researchers Christopher Bay and Shijun Ni, who led the study, believe these fossils challenge the way we classify ancient humans. The old categories just don't cut it anymore. There were way more types of early humans than we once thought, and they were not living in isolation. The evidence suggests heavy interbreeding, meaning the story of human evolution is far messier than we assumed. While some experts are skeptical, many are warming up to the idea that Homo longi could be a missing link in our tangled history. Number 9. The Alien Plant In 1969, scientists uncovered a fossilized plant in Utah that, at first glance, seemed ordinary. They thought it was related to ginseng or ivy. But when researchers took a closer look decades later, things got weird. This plant, now named Ubifilum elongatum, doesn't match anything alive today, or even anything else in the fossil record. Unlike most fossilized plants, this one was found with its twigs, leaves, and fruit still attached, which is pretty rare. As paleobotanist Stephen Manchester put it, usually these parts are found separately. Even stranger, the plant's stamens, tiny structures that usually fall off when the fruit develops, were still attached. This was completely unlike any known plant family. After extensive research, scientists had no choice but to create an entirely new classification for it. Its name, a mouthful, elongated alien plant. To this day, it remains one of the strangest botanical mysteries ever unearthed on the earth. Number 8. The Mysterious Neanderthal Fossils A recent discovery in Prado Vargas Cave, Spain, is challenging everything we thought we knew about Neanderthals. Scientists unearthed 15 small marine fossils in a place where they clearly didn't belong, deep inside a cave, miles from the ocean. Unlike typical fossils found at dig sites, these show no signs of being used as tools. So why were they there? 
According to researchers from the University of Burgos and the University of Malaga, these shells and fossils may have been collected simply for the sake of collecting. If true, this means Neanderthals weren't just survival-focused. They may have had a sense of curiosity, aesthetic appreciation, or even early trading practices. What's even more interesting? There's no evidence that Homo sapiens were in the area at the time. This suggests Neanderthals developed these behaviors on their own, proving they were far more intelligent and complex than we previously thought. This discovery could push back the timeline for abstract thought and cultural behavior by up to 50,000 years. Number 7. Denny In 2008, a single finger bone from a cave in Siberia shattered everything we thought we knew about early humans. It wasn't Neanderthal, it wasn't Homo sapiens, it was something entirely different. By 2010, DNA analysis confirmed that this bone belonged to a previously unknown species, Denisovans, a mysterious group of archaic humans who lived alongside our ancestors. But things got even stranger. In that same cave, researchers found another fossil, one that wasn't fully Neanderthal or Denisovan. Instead, it was a first-generation hybrid, a direct offspring of both species. Scientists named her Denny, and she's the only confirmed first-generation crossbreed between two different types of early humans ever discovered. The fact that Denisovans and Neanderthals interbred raises some massive questions about human evolution. Were they merging into a single species? How many more unknown hybrids are out there? Denny's existence is rewriting what we thought we knew, and we've barely scratched the surface. Number 6. Isi Sanek Greenland isn't the first place you think of when it comes to dinosaur discoveries, but in 2021, scientists officially introduced the world to Isi Sanek, a brand new species that had been hiding in plain sight for nearly 30 years. Originally discovered in 1994, these fossils were first misidentified as belonging to a well-known dinosaur, Plateosaurus. But after re-examining the skulls using advanced scans, paleontologist Victor Bakari and his team realized they had something else entirely. Isi Sanek was a medium-sized, long-necked herbivore that lived during the late Triassic period, about 214 million years ago. Unlike the massive dinosaurs that came later, this one walked on two legs and was built for speed. Its unique skull proportions set it apart from anything seen before, proving that Greenland's prehistoric past was far more diverse than anyone realized. So, basically, we know nothing about our history. Now, let's talk about... Number 5. The Devil Frog Frogs are usually small, harmless creatures, but not this one. Beelzebufo Ampinga, nicknamed the Devil Frog, was an absolute unit of an amphibian that lived in Madagascar about 70 million years ago. Measuring up to 16 inches long and weighing around 10 pounds, this prehistoric frog was likely the size of a beach ball, making it one of the largest frogs ever to exist. What's even crazier? Scientists believe Beelzebufo may have had a bite strong enough to crush small vertebrates, meaning it didn't just eat insects, it could have gone after baby dinosaurs. The fossil record doesn't show anything quite like it, leaving researchers puzzled about where it fits in the amphibian family tree. Could it be an evolutionary dead end? A missing link? Whatever the case, this prehistoric frog wasn't the kind you'd want hopping into your backyard pond. Number 4. The Giant Ant Fossil Imagine an ant the size of a hummingbird. Sounds like something out of a horror movie, right? Well, meet Titanomyrma lubei, an ancient ant species that lived 50 million years ago during the Eocene epoch. Fossils of this behemoth insect were first discovered in ancient lake sediments in Wyoming, and the queen ant measured a whopping two inches long, with wings that probably made it even more terrifying. The fact that such massive ants existed in North America is baffling. Modern ants max out at a fraction of that size, and ants this big are typically found in tropical rainforests. 
So how did Titana Murma thrive in what is now the U.S.? Scientists believe the Earth was much warmer back then, creating a prehistoric greenhouse effect that allowed tropical species to migrate across continents. If climate conditions shift again, could we see the return of giant ants? Let's hope not. Number 3. The Well-Endowed Silurian Shrimp Sometimes fossils leave scientists scratching their heads, not because they're confusing, but because they reveal some unexpected anatomical features. That was the case with a 425-million-year-old ostracod fossil, a tiny shrimp-like creature, discovered in England. At first glance, it seemed like just another marine fossil, but when researchers examined it closely, they found something shocking. The shrimp's reproductive organs were massive. Nicknamed Old Todger, this prehistoric crustacean had the oldest known example of a preserved penis in the fossil record, and it was huge relative to its body size. Scientists believe this suggests ancient marine creatures had already evolved complex mating behaviors far earlier than previously thought. The fossil's remarkable preservation provides a rare glimpse into the intimate details of early arthropod life. Who knew a tiny shrimp from the Silurian period could leave such a, well, big impression on science? Number 2. The Spider Attack Fossil It's not every day that a fossil captures a moment frozen in time, but that's what happened in Myanmar's Hukong Valley, where a piece of 100 million year old amber was found preserving a spider in the middle of an attack. Inside the amber, a small prehistoric wasp is caught in the clutches of an ancient spider, making this the first fossil ever discovered that captures a predator in action. This eerie scene gives us an unprecedented look at Cretaceous-era ecosystems, showing that spiders were hunting the same way millions of years ago as they do today. The amber even contains other fossilized creatures, including baby spiders, suggesting that this attack happened right next to a spider's nest. It's one of the rarest and most detailed glimpses into prehistoric life ever found, proof that nature's dramas have been playing out the same way for millions of years. Number 1. The English Rhinos of Kirkdale Cave Finding fossils of rhinos and elephants in England sounds like a mistake, until you realize that about 120,000 years ago, these creatures roamed what is now Yorkshire. In 1821, quarry workers in Kirkdale Cave discovered a collection of giant bones. At first, people thought they belonged to local livestock, but geologist William Buckland had a different theory. Buckland identified the bones as belonging to species that shouldn't have been in England. Woolly rhinoceroses, hyenas, and even straight-tusked elephants. But how did they get there? Turns out, this cave was once a prehistoric hyena den, where these ancient predators dragged in the remains of their prey. This discovery was groundbreaking, as it helped establish the idea of Ice Age megafauna, and proved that Britain's climate was once radically different. If you have found this video interesting, please like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.